Underemployed has been getting a lot of hype. I personally am excited to check it out, October 16th. How was it filming that show? Incredible. It was, it was really, it, I, if the show looks like fun, that's exactly what it was. We were having fun. We were having a blast every day on set. We would just play off each other, feed off each other's energy. We obviously all feel really comfortable with each other because we were all in Chicago, away from home, in this big city, and kind of gravitated towards each other to 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 keep each other warm. And that made us feel really close to one another, and that made every scene such a blast. And um, hopefully everyone at home will feel that way too, but we had a blast doing it. Yeah, it sort of felt like summer camp. Yeah. We were there from April to August, and... It was really hot out there too, but it just it totally felt like summer camp. Like you would go have your activities during the day and then extracurricular activities at night and Yeah. Just hanging out. And yeah. Enjoying enjoying everything. Enjoying the sun. It was awesome. Real quick, can you guys talk about your characters? Sure. My character is Raviva and I play a musician who just came out of college, is excited to, to go out there and be a rock star. And then gets knocked up. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice little twist. That's, yeah. a, good, that's yeah. a good way to put it. Um, she's in love with this guy who drives her crazy. And she's also broke. And she's a mother. And she needs to juggle all those things together. And it creates a pretty cool and exciting journey. Yeah, which involves me a lot. Um, I, I play Lou, who is an environmental design major and so he wants to make the world a better place any any way that he can it starts with uh like canvassing standing outside of malls being like hey five minutes for the environment five minutes yeah and then yeah exactly and then i get called a lesbian just lesbian. yeah so it's about the struggle of wanting to uh you know and then uh i'm sorry then she comes to my door and she's like, "Hey, by the way, check this out." Oh, yeah. That, and yeah. So, I You know how that started. It did not start at the door. Who caused that? Who's in charge of that action? You. You, you told me you were on the pill. You told me that you were putting something on. I did, and then I took it off cuz you were like, "Oh, I'm on the pill. Don't worry about it." And maybe that does that's sound what like happened. me. Yeah. And then so, <laughs> so then you show up to my door, uh 9 months pregnant, and I'm like, "Oh, crap." Oh, crap. Um, okay. He's such a romantic. It's yeah. just what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Oh, crap. You know, I have to talk about this. The show is called Underemployed. Have any of you actually been underemployed? I don't have those cool stories that, that this one has. She's got, I don't like, know if they're cool. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they're cool. They're just the... I, I did have to, to struggle um, here and there. And I did have to go through some crazy, crazy jobs now and again. I'll tell you this. I worked at a video store for four years of my life when I was in Israel. And I used to come across a lot of people, a lot of clients who wouldn't know how to pronounce the names of the movies. Mm -hmm. So like, be because it's, it, a lot of the movies come from America and like Harry Potter. So they wouldn't know what to say. So they'd be like, hey, can you, of course, they'd speak Hebrew, but this is my Hebrew, ac my Hebrew accent, Israeli accent. They'd be like, hey, uh, you got the new Harry Potter movie. Mm -hmm. And it's it's Harry Potter, and I wouldn't know what to say to them. <laughs> Harry Potter. So it, it sounds like a different kind of video story. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Lastly, oh. why do you guys think people should check out the show? Oh, because they're they're gonna be sad if they if they miss it. They're gonna be, <laughs> be out of the loop. Yeah. Yeah, because be Jared Kuznets is in it. Am uh, I saying it right? Nope. Kuznets. 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 You know, uh, Jared Kuznets. <laughs> yeah. Kuznets. That's, that's, what, that's what some people do say. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're going to do when they're going to ask for the season one video. <laughs> the guy with the Jared Kuznets. Jared Kuznets. Kuznets. The guy with yeah. the, you know, the lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they'll say. Um, 
Why? Yeah. Why? Why would they not want to watch the show? Because they're gonna love it. It is. They're they're gonna find someone that they connect with, mm-hmm. a story that they connect with, and hopefully they feel like they have. You know, it's always when you're when you're going through a struggle. It's always nice to see that you're not the only one going through it. Mm-hmm. And so, I think that's what they're gonna really enjoy about watching the show. It's like, oh, cool. I'm not. Oh, they're going through exactly what I'm going through, and oh, this is how they make it out. Okay, maybe I can do the same thing, and so we'll inspire them. Yeah. To be better. Uh, I I tend whenever I'm sick, I just love just you know plopping on the couch in front of the TV and just watch some of my favorite shows. That it makes me feel good. If I watch Friends, it makes me laugh, and I feel like I know those characters, and they're like my friends. And if I'm lonely, they make me feel better. So hopefully, the show will make someone else at home that isn't sick, or when yeah. they're sick, or whenever they feel like they want someone around that they can plop on the couch and watch us and if we can make someone feel a little better that'd be that'd be so so nice